The dust has settled and a UCP government will call the shots as Alberta looks toward the future. Results from the 2023 election are reigniting talk of residents looking to flee the province. Is it legitimate or just emotional overreaction? I think it's mostly reaction and emotion uh, after a very intense campaign. Christine Myatt says the fiery political race has left many Albertans feeling a few sore spots from shots exchanged between the opposing bases. It was a very divisive and nasty campaign with a lot of personal attacks thrown uh, bo by both sides. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm not surprised to see people have an emotional reaction. That emotional reaction was taking over social media algorithms Tuesday as claims of relocation plans from dissatisfied voters flooded the timelines. Here's one user who says they're on the bandwagon out looking to make their last move due to their age and they say this one needs to count. Some looking at preparations to sell their house before making the leap saying they'll evaluate the state of politics as they clean up and prepare to hit the road. So just how soon are people looking to leave? Well, one user says they've already left in anticipation of the result. But leaving the province won't change the state of affairs. The NDP were only over a thousand votes away from swinging six ridings and forming government. Myatt says this momentum demonstrates the importance of getting involved and sharing your vision for the future rather than leaving. Shaping policies, getting involved in constituency associations, going to AGMs, like this kind of grassroots um, political engagement is, is great for democracy. And if people want to see themselves reflected in their government, they need to get involved. Moving to another province is also easier said than done. Alberta is bookended by BC, which has a political landscape some may find more inviting, but is much more costly, and Saskatchewan, a much heavier conservative population, leaving expensive long-distance relocation as the only other option. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.